these are some cute brushes. I don't know if you can see, but they're just really, really nice. So when I saw this from Features and Shades, and you guys won't believe how much they cost. Okay, can you guys guess how much these are? Hey guys, so I'm back with a beauty haul, and this is going to be um, like affordable beauty haul. And I haven't done a beauty haul or any haul in a long time. The last time was the mini sew haul, and I enjoyed that mini sew haul because there's just so many um, cool stuff that I got from there. And um, I still have some mini sew products right here. These are just random brands from different stores. So if you guys want to see my beauty haul, then just keep on watching. Okay, let me start with mini sew. So I got a bunch of skincare products. The first one is this um, Rose Essence Toner. I've been trying this and see a big difference in my skin. Like some people would tell me that you look a lot younger now. And I don't know why because my skin has been dry lately. So when I started using this, my skin has just been more um, like elastic, more supple. You know what I mean? Like it's more moisturized now. So um, this is the Rose Essence Toner. They just usually use my finger to apply this. And this is really good for like before you apply your makeup. It serves as a like an adhesive for your foundation. So it helps uh, make your foundation last longer. So I really like this. I have this green tea repairing, spray hydrating, moisturizing, repairing, and soothing. So yeah, this is just the like a green tea repairing spray so they said that you can use this as a toner i read on the back that it's a toner spray um i instantly bought this because i'm looking for something that I can use after i put on all of my makeup and this will just melt the cakey powder on my face so i really like this there are those days when i don't apply moisturizer on my face i spray this on my face right after i wash my face and this will just um make my skin more moisturized even though I'm not wearing moisturizer, if you know what I mean. This one is a makeup remover. I have the other one which is like an aloe vera micellar water or like a cleansing water. And well, this is like a makeup remover liquid but um, for me it's like the same as a micellar water. But um, this one works really well and I just tried this once because I just can't wait to try this at home. So um, I tried this and it was good. And you know what guys, I really love the mini so makeup removers. And they're just like any other micellar waters out in the market. They don't irritate my eyes and I don't get pimples from it. So I highly recommend them. And then I got this pillow from mini so, which is like, this was I think 299 pesos or something like that, 249. But I really like this. These are super soft. They have a lot of choices there for pillows. But this one is just my favorite because it's actually their biggest pillow there. The sponge inside is just so soft. It's just really soft. I don't know what material this is, but it's just really nice and soft and fluffy. I got the Maybelline Dream Satin Skin Foundation in B2. This is my current favorite foundation. And this is probably one of the best foundations I've tried for every day. It has like medium to full coverage. You can build this up and my skin looks so smooth when I use this. The color B2 matches my skin perfectly. It has yellow undertone. I have a lot of foundations and I've tried a lot of brands. So for me to repurchase this, that means a lot. I have a lot of high-end foundations but I find myself reaching for this more. By the way, I got this from Metro Mall, I think. Um, it's just beside uh, Alabang Town Center. And when you enter this mall, there's a lot of makeup brands and I was surprised because I just went there to look around and I was surprised to see a lot of makeup brands there. So I got this from there. And then from Ingrid Cosmetics, I got this, what do you call this? Um, the, I really hate it when they put the price on the label. I can't really see what. Um, I'll try to look online what's this, but it's just like a loose eyeshadow um, pigment. And it has a lot of different colors. Let me show you. I'm really obsessed with this right now because I really love doing like, um, what do you call this? Like shimmery eye makeup looks. So um, I'm not sure. There's a mirror on top and this is how it looks like. So it's just loose pigments and it has some peachy shimmery shades, gold, um, like champagne color. What do you call this? It's like a bronze color. So I really like this. 
and the colors right here are completely my style. One thing I don't like about this is the applicator. This is actually a sponge tip applicator, but I just removed all the sponge. It was too fragile and it was like melting and breaking. It's starting to break already and it was like super soft. And I tried to get some eyeshadow and the sponge was left inside. And I don't know if you can see, but the hole to get inside the product is too small. So when it was left inside, it, I had to use some tweezers to get the sponge inside. So that was a hassle for me. But other than that, I really like this uh, makeup product. Uh, okay, so next are these lip and cheek stains from Skin Genie. Here are the lip and cheek stains from Skin Genie. And I really love these. They're just my favorite um, lip and cheek stain brand as of the moment. And the first color that I have is Christmas Red. So this is just like a straight up red color. Sunset Orange, we really love this one. And then I have Flirt, which is a bright pink color. I also have this Rose Pink, which is like a like reddish pink color with a little bit of orange in it. And then this one is Tan Brown. It's a very interesting color for a lip and cheek stain. And then I have this color in Tramp. I really love this color as well. It's just like a dark brick red color. So I'm really obsessed. From, oh, this one is from Metro as well. And this is the Nichido blush in Tomato. And this is one of my favorite blushes when I was in college. I've seen a lot of girls also in my school wear this before. So this is just like an oldie but goodie. And um, I have a lot of other blushes, but I kind of missed using this. And yeah, this is Nichido True Colors Collection Powder Blush in Tomato. And you guys should try this. I mean, it's an affordable blush. You may think that it's a light color, but on your cheeks, it's just like a bright um, peachy color. It looks really fresh. And the reason why I got this also is because I'm planning to do another 500 pesos makeup challenge. Because I want something that's easily available for everyone. So this is the Nichido Blush in Tomato. I really like this color. I don't know about you guys, but um yeah this is like the first product that i tried from nichido and um i really like this this is how it looks like let me show you a swatch right now oh that's a bad swatch but that's how it looks like so it's just like a peachy um orangey color really love that one and then from the dollar store, I got a few things. So these are the concealers by She, and and I know that this looks familiar for most of you because it's very similar to the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, concealer. And um, hold on, let me get the LA Girl. So these are my backups of the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal concealer. And as you can see, the packaging is just very, very similar. So this is the yellow corrector from the LA Girl. This is LA Girl and this is She Cosmetics. So as you can see, the packaging is just very similar and the applicator is exactly the same. But you know what guys, I tried She Cosmetics and I was blown away. It was... Actually, the formula of this one is actually better than this. The one from LA Girl is just more brightening under the eyes. But this one um, is perfect for every day for your under eye area or even if you want to highlight your face. But this one is just more um, yellow and more brighter. It just makes your under eye more brighter. This one is actually really, really close to the LA Girl one, but I like the formula of this more, so. Another dupe for the LA Girl Pro Conceal in, what's this, Dark Cocoa. This is a favorite of many. And um, so this is the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Conceal in um, Dark Cocoa. And this one is the one by She Cosmetics. Hold on, what shade is this? This one is M Brown. So as you can see, they're just really similar. So I'm planning to do a um, review on this really, really soon. From SM, I got this these cool um, sponges from um, Everbelena. This one, and they're duped for the um, Beauty Blender Micro Mini sponges. And let me show you how they look like and hold on let me show you there you go they're like mini sponges from everblend i was really excited about this when i saw this so um they look like this just two little sponges like that and you can use this for your under eye area to highlight your face or anywhere you want to use this small areas of your face 
but I really like this. Um, it grows. And I bought two. This one I tried already. I think it was okay. I'm still going to try this one more time and so I can tell you my final thoughts. But I got some soaps. These are the Paris Oil Clear Soap with lemon flower extract. This one with mint extract and the one is just like a transparent soap. So this is by the brand Paris. And I've seen some girls on YouTube use these for like a brow gel. They use soap to tame brows but I'm not gonna use it for that. I just like this because I've been into transparent soaps lately and I love soaps that have glycerin in it. The soap that I use right now is from Zen Nutrients which is the um, pure glycerin soap and I really like that soap because it doesn't irritate my eyes when I wash because sometimes when I use um, normal soaps or facial wash um, it really irritates my eyes and makes them really painful while I'm washing them. But, oh, I really love these. So this one is the transparent soap and then this one is the one um, with mint. This one is the mint Paris with mint extract. And then this one is just the oil clear soap with lemon flower extract. This is the one that I'm currently using right now for my body. I have one more open right there. And yeah, so I really like the smell of these. Um, more from Metro. I forgot and I placed all over here. I was walking around Metro Mall and I saw some interesting nail polishes. They're really nice because I'm really, really into glitters as you all know. And I'm just looking for any brand with glitter. I've never tried this brand but when I saw the colors, they're just really nice. So I got um, five colors. Oops. So I got five colors and four of them are glittery and the other one is just a nude color. And let me show you one by one. This one is just like a pixie green color. It has like some yellow specks of glitters in it. The yellow and blue specks of glitter in it so that's really good. And then the next one is like this aqua blue um, nail polish with some specks of green glitters in it. So I really like this. This is just like a snow sparkly color. Really like it. This one is probably my favorite. And this one right here, the green one, which is what I'm wearing right now. And um, this one is just the pink um, nail polish with some purple glitters in it. And the brand is called La Belle. I went to Chinoma on a different day because I needed to have my braces fixed. So um, just going to show you guys what I bought really quickly. Um, these are just random things. Um, I got two tank tops because I really love tank tops. And I know the packaging kind of broke already because, I don't know, I was too clumsy so the packaging broke. And then um, I have two tank tops from Landmark. One is just like this gray tank top right here. And I love tank tops because you can dress it up or dress it down however you want. You can use this for if you're just going grocery shopping or like if you're going somewhere more formal, you can wear like a jacket over it. And yeah, and then I have this um, like flesh or beige um, tank top and I've been into um, nude colors for my clothes lately and yeah, so I think each one costs 250 or 299 I'm not sure but they're just really nice. I really like the material, it's like good quality and it's stretchy so really like that. And I got this sweet cherry nail polish and this one is called Brown Fox really nice um, like brown color brown like orangey brown reddish color this one and then this one is called touch of tan which is like an orangey peachy nude color these are the colors this is the bag with some sequins on it and it's not like in your face sequins because i really like that this one is metallic this the middle part is metallic and it's actually, you can actually put a lot inside. So I got three bags with um, similar design. This one just says glam on it. Yeah, glam. And then it just has a metallic um, handle and then like sequins around. So I really like this. I got it in blue and violet as well. Here. And it doesn't look cheap at all. And I'll show you guys in a while. This one, so there you go. This one's the blue and violet one. So, really nice, right? And then, I also got 
the black one, which is what I'm using right now. So I don't really spend too much on bags because I always break them and I don't really like bringing bags in general. But yeah, so this one is just the black one and probably my favorite because I can wear it with any outfit. And it just says love right here. It looks really, really nice. And this bag will be appropriate for anywhere except for like hotels or like um, weddings and stuff like that. I really love these because they kind of remind me of Juicy Couture bags with the metallic handle. So originally they're 240 pesos but they're on sale for 80 pesos. 80 pesos for these bags. Can you guys believe that? And honestly, I was able to put to put a lot of things inside. So this is not my everyday bag. They're just really good and they look really high quality. I mean, look at that, 80 pesos for these. I always go for bags like this. And they're really small and handy. So so since I got the Everbelena makeup sponges, the teardrop puff, I tried it in Landmark. So I had to squeeze them. So Oh, so I did the same with the Everblenna sponges. I tried to squeeze them. They're not as soft, but they do expand. Oh, I forgot to tell you that these um, do expand a little bit. They're wet. And same with these. They expand. And But the thing that I like about this is that the first time that I squeeze this, it's really soft. This is just like the most softest dupe I've ever found because most of the dupes that I find um, in stores are like hard. But yeah, they all do expand, but this one is just like the, the best material I have ever found. It's really soft even now when it's dry, and um, when it's wet, it's even softer, so I really like that. But I'm not sure which one is better. I'm going to do a comparison video on these two. This one is actually the closest to the um, Beauty Blender Micro Mini ones because it's green and it's like the perfect size for your under eyes. So it's two in one. And this one costs um, 275 pesos. And this one from Everbelena is 135 pesos. There's one more size bigger than this. There's like three sizes. This one is the small, there's a medium one, and then a bigger one. But the medium one is actually really small as well. It's still small like that. It's still small. And I was originally going to get that until I saw these. And then I went to SM South Mall because I was looking for a camera for... Because I want to improve the quality of my videos. I was looking for a Sony Handycam. But I couldn't find one with remote controller. So I was really disappointed. But I ended up just going around the mall. So of course, I landed in the makeup section inside the department store. And as well as Forever 21. So I got only one thing from the department store. And I saw this already before. But I got it only now. And this is an eyeshadow palette from Nika K. And this is the Perfect 23 matte colors. So this is the palette, 23 eyeshadow palette. And the reason why I got this is because I've been looking for like a burnt orange color like this. And like a reddish um, brown color like this. And I found it all in this palette. And it's nice that you have a lot of um, transition colors right here and some bright colors here and some like brow bone colors so i really like this you can create um, a lot of looks from this palette and a lot of people said that this is very comparable to the anastasia beverly hills um, modern renaissance palette and one girl did a review on this and like a comparison on this with the um modern renaissance palette and it's actually very very similar and a lot of people said that this one is actually much better than that so I can't wait to try this. I don't have the Modern Renaissance palette, but um, I can see, I've seen some photos, I've watched a lot of videos of girls using that palette. So I'll just try to recreate a look with this, um, creating a similar look with the Modern Renaissance palette. I can't wait to try this, and this was 399 pesos. And then from Forever 21, I just went inside Forever 21 just to look at stuff. I didn't really plan on buying anything. But when I saw these brushes, they kind of remind me of the Real Techniques brushes. So I got them and it has pink and white um, bristles and then the gold. Don't you think it's so cute? And yeah, it, it does remind me of Real Techniques. And I'm not sure if I can use this for cream products, but um, yeah, but they're synthetic. So I can use this for cream products. And it says here, this was 505 pesos. And for some reason, I thought this was going to be the most expensive because they're the biggest brushes there. 
and um, there are a lot of choices and um, Forever 21 is coming out with a lot of interesting products there are a lot of choices of brushes and a lot of different choices of um, what do you call the sponges Forever 21 is coming out with a lot of um, beauty tools lately so I really like this one because I'm planning to do a makeup collection video soon so this is going to look nice in my vanity so really like this so it comes in with so there's six brushes inside this one looks like a powder brush and then this one looks like a nice like contour brush and then blush brush this one um, I think you can use this to like contour as well and then this is just like a um, concealer brush or like a blending brush and this one is of course an angled liner brush so you can use this for your eyeliner or your eyebrows so here they are up close have some lip glosses and one lip balm from what do you call this from the brand what's this taste beauty so these are just the um, taste beauty what do you call this flavored lip glosses and they're just in the flavor this one is the blue raspberry and this one is just the strawberry one and i really like the scent of this i don't know why i got these because the flavor really caught my attention because i'm really into like strawberries blueberries so when i saw that these lip glosses are flavored strawberry and blueberries i was really intrigued so i thought that there's going to be taste but not really so um, I actually regret buying these because when I opened the packaging, when I opened the lip gloss, there's not much product inside. I don't know if you can see, but it's like, I don't know, it's like a kid's makeup for me, so I kind of regret buying this. But one more product from Taste Beauty is this um, fresh fruit salad flavored lip balm. And this is just the cutest um, lip balm packaging I've ever seen. And I know that Taste Beauty uh, makes a lot of different um, packagings for their lip glosses. They have ones in like, um, what do you call this, like ice cream. And then they have this um, ones like a cupcake, I think. Or like, there's so many different um, styles. They have a lot of different packagings. And if you search on YouTube, some girls did a review on this brand. And they, they have a lot of different cute packaging for their lip glosses and lip balms. So, this one is just the fresh fruit salad flavored lip balm and it's not just a lip balm, it's a tinted lip balm because it gives a really nice color on your lips. Let me give you a swatch right here. So if I'm wearing makeup and I just want a natural lip color, I always wear this one. And sometimes when I'm not wearing much makeup, I would apply this on my lips because I don't want like super heavy lipstick. So this is the color that it gives. And I really like the scent. I don't know why, but the scent reminds me of something. It kind of reminds me of the old Wet n Wild lipsticks when I was 13 years old. It really reminds me of that. So it actually tastes sweet as well. So that's everything that I got. Um, I did sweat while filming this video, but I really enjoyed filming this. And yeah, so that's everything in my beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And see you guys again in my next video. Bye!